a year and a half ago, I, I couldn't even take care of myself. Local Marine turned entrepreneur, 10 News military reporter Hannah Mullins has how his success formed from a dark place. His clothing line is called Risen Through Pain, and that is exactly what he's done. It's uh, kind of rough. Brian Craddock has been to war and he's seen combat. So when he went to the Western Pacific in 2015, it was supposed to be easy. I was gone for Christmas, New Year's, Thanksgiving. I missed them all. The hardest part hit when they were about to head home. Supported the the earthquake in Nepal. Were you with Vengeance? I was already it. So that was a hard, hard one. one. My name is Captain Lucas Savage, and we stand with Nepal. They were running rescue missions when their helicopter went down. You know, Captain Lucas Savage. <laughs> Captain Norgren. Captain Christopher Norgren. Sergeant Johnson. Sergeant Johnson. It's really close to Eric Seaman. He was the best dad. Just supporting the relief. You know, we ended up losing our Marines. That added agony to a broken heart. My marriage failed. My family failed. I felt like I failed. As a former drill instructor, he'd always been in control. And everything was spiraling out. I didn't know where I was sleeping next. I was staying at friends' houses. He'd lost his home, and between legal fees for divorce and a court battle for custody, he was down to his last dollars. I wanted to do it right to begin with, so I took grocery money, dropped out on my trademark. He scraped together what little he had left and made 20 shirts. Sold them out of my truck. Now he can't stop selling, and having gone from homeless to a high rise, he's a man his son can look up to. It's probably the best feeling I can, I can ever imagine because my life's on track, I'm helping others. He gives extra shirts to homeless vets, and he won't forget the pain woven into his success because it's still there. Which is hard. Hannah Mullins, 10 News.